So I am back at it again, trying to explain why college is becoming more and more of a frustration for me. If you're not great at guessing, you probably still would have guessed that I failed my stats class, that there was little to no way I was going to pass this class and actually get a passing grade. I failed by 1.7%. That is less than one discussion grade. That is less than an assignment. That is about the same amount of points you would get by putting your name at the top of a paper and turning it in three days late. And yet my teacher for stats still did not give me a passing grade. But as I talked about before, failure is just failure. You gotta move on from it, you gotta let it go. Except when everything is failing and falling around you. I just went to go speak with another advisor. This is, this is the third advisor I've had to talk to in recent memory to try and sort out everything for my college classes. Several months ago, I did a vlog where I went to Scott Community College I sat down with my advisor and attempted to get everything sorted out and to see if there is a way I could get out of my stats class because frankly I suck at math and I am not impressed with my ability of accomplishing that class. So I wanted to see if there's a way I could transfer out of it or if I don't do well can I get into something else that doesn't have any math at all associated with it and she said no. And I told her more that I'm not looking to transfer to a four-year university. I'm most likely going to go into seminary years in the future and become a minister of some sort. Therefore, I only need an associate's right now. If I choose to go back to college, I will do that. But as of right now, I don't need classes and I don't need anything that is associated with a four-year university where I need to transfer to somewhere else to get my college credits. Miss K seems to understand that and reciprocate the feelings of okay I understand what you're doing and I'm not gonna do that but then as time goes by I keep getting classes that have nothing to do with my degree and these classes also are a little confusing because they're all associated with a course that's not done for a diploma it is done as an AAS that means this degree is meant to transfer to another university a four-year one to get a bachelor's I'm not getting a bachelor's how many times do I need to say that I'm sorry if I'm a little heated today has been a rather stressful and almost invigorating.ly angry experience where I spent two and a half hours in an advisor office with my mother. I'm not saying that these advisors don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it wrong. When a 21 year old man has to bring his own mother to an advising appointment just to make sure you guys don't keep scamming him out of stuff from putting him in things he doesn't need to be in, that's when I'd say, you're not doing it right. I had another advisor go through all my classes with me, and the best things we can figure out is that each advisor I have gone through has just keep adding classes, to the point where I wasn't actually going to graduate until 2021, at the beginning of the year, that winter, I would graduate in 2021. Let me re-say this again, I started in 2018. I signed up the day it turned 2018, that same month, is when I registered for college. 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. The amount of time I'm spending at this freaking community college, I could have gotten a bachelor's degree back in Canada with my girlfriend. Which, by the way, she just passed her final class. She is going to be getting her bachelor's degree. I want everyone to give her a round of applause. I am extreme. I am so happy. I am so just... I, I'm so proud of my girlfriend. The fact that she was able to do that and get to where she needs to be. I am so happy. So uh, in the future, our plans are maybe she's going to be moving out here and then, you know, we can start working our relationship a little more and then, you know, woo, possibly get married in the future. And uh, yeah, so everything's coming together. It's going pretty well. But back to my story, my college has routinely screwed me out of so many opportunities to the point where I am taking classes after I graduate. They're going to let me walk in uh, spring of 2020, but I still have to take a class in that summer. 
Now, I'm not that upset or bothered by it because I know there's lots of other people in college that have to do the same thing. What I'm bothered by is the fact that they keep saying you don't have to, you do, you'll graduate this winter, graduate this spring, you're going to graduate next May in 2021. No, wait, you still have to take a fall semester in 2020. Wait, psych, no, you don't. You just need a spring semester in 2020. And I'm to a point where I want a freaking definite answer whether I'm going to graduate and when that's going to happen and do I need to take this class and is this class really that important too because it doesn't matter to me I don't care about what degree I'm getting I don't know how many times I have to say that to people to the face that I don't care what degree I'm getting I'm getting a degree because it really matters to other people in the world and the fact that my father really depends on the fact that I'm getting a degree because he looks at me and he with a lot, with a lot, 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 lot with a lot of pride I'm just sick of it I just want to work a full-time job get married to my girlfriend and bada bing bada boom that's life but everyone views the college degree as if it is this end-all be-all of everything. I was never good in school. I was always good in church. I was always good at my job. I was always good with kids and the Bible and just communicating things with people, being fun and being energetic. That's what I've always been good at. Now I'm, I'm paying thousands and thousands of dollars that I could really save to achieve what, what I want to do in life versus what everyone else wants me to do in life. It's becoming so stressful just for an associate's. I just really don't want to go to college. With all that being said, in the end, I'm doing it because it's not about me. It's about my future, my future kids, and my future wife, all this kind of stuff. If you can get a degree, no matter where you go and the people you talk to, they're not, they don't care what you got a degree in. It's not the 50s. What they care about is the fact that you put in the time, effort, and energy to get a degree. A degree that even though it's paper, it really doesn't mean much. And the fact that I haven't really learned anything that would make me stand out in a crowd from this more than I learned from Crash Course on YouTube. What it means is that you had the determination and commitment to follow something through that isn't easy. It isn't just public school where they pass you. No child left behind. Thanks, Bush. It's not as easy as just working at McDonald's. It's not as easy as paying someone else to do stuff for you. You have to put in the effort to do it. Unless you're a millionaire's kid who gets to buy their way through college. But I'm not. I've got to work as much as I can to afford college and everything else I'm doing. And also be able to have enough time to live my life and also pass this class. That shows something about the very essence of who I am as a person. It's about determination, about being stubborn. All that being said, college is difficult. Life is difficult. So grow up, suck it up, and shut up. Hey guys, end of the show note here. Uh, my father and I have been doing our podcast for about five weeks now. And I would love it if you guys would actually listen to the darn thing. And then also comment about your opinion. Because that's something I asked you guys to do. And to yet, no one has done it. It actually is pretty funny. Um, it's funnier than my Happy Cabbage podcast. Which I pretty much just turned into the Man Child and Old Guy podcast. Even on Anchor.com that I use for Happy Cabbage. It's just my dad and I's podcast. Uh, let me know if you'd be interested in us uh, recording ourselves while we do it. I had a good time doing it. I liked it. Um, but if that's something you guys want to uh, see. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button if it so uh, pleases you. Because I'm here to please.